Welcome back to Judo Breakdowns, your source for uh, judo commentary on the internet. And what I have for you today is a match from a Grand Slam in Tel Aviv uh, 2022 in the men's under-73 division between Soman Mahmoud Mahmoud Bekov from Tajikistan and Jefferson Santos Jr. from Brazil. Uh, so Soman is in the white, Jefferson's in the blue. They're already bowed on and they've got their grips. Let's get going. And so right now we're seeing a back grip by uh, Jefferson, but Soman has really just been putting a lot of downward pressure onto uh, Jefferson's back, driving him into the mat. And a uh, nice rollout by uh, Jefferson there to uh, to escape. Uh, really using the head as the point of contact and uh, very, very, very good roll. Let's just say escape by using a roll. <laughs> this is what I meant to say. I meant to say that the entire time. Listen. All right. So Soman with the uh, sacrifice, but, uh, or Makigomi, no real threat there. Jefferson, you know, and then there was a, it's brutal to try to like, uh, you know, turn someone over with one hand on both sides. <laughs> it's hard to really, unless you're going in the same direction, which he wasn't. Okay, so around uh, the side for Jefferson. And he's going for the Uch uh, Uchigari, but like, Soman, you can see, has a pretty decent height advantage, uh, which he uses there in that Tani Toshi. Uh, well, but that, it's going to be really hard for Jefferson to get uh, an Ouchi Gary going. Mate is called, so they're going to we're going to get a reset here. But uh, you know, I I don't think that that's a very good strategy for Jefferson, to be honest, to try to go for Ouchi Gary. You know, he he's a shorter he's a shorter player in this instance. Yeah, he needs to go for the drops, things of that nature, even deeper if he can. Um, he got blocked by Soman, and actually, I think Soman's trying to like, wrap him up. No, but Jefferson able to break away. Good attack by uh, Soman there to on the Newaza. Jefferson, good idea to switch to the drop sale instead. However, Soman now should be anticipating that, so we got to mix that up, right? Let's see what uh, Jefferson has in his bag to uh, to deal with the taller player. Uh, this is a 73 division, so not, it's not typically that short of a division. Um, so what I mean by that is Jefferson should have lots of experience with taller players, taller players than him in this division. So Soman there. Getting his grip. And a nice attempt by Jefferson there. <coughs> a little bit on the outside. Pardon me. <coughs> so. I think we're going to see penalties here. I don't know what that penalty is. <laughs> that That's a new one for me. Um, uh, maybe not letting him grab the lapel, I think. You see the subtle shift there that, uh, Jefferson just did there was he took his left hand and used it to shift the lapel holding hand of Soman away from the chest and into higher up. And what he did there was he used his chin to pin the, the hand against the his shoulder. Now, typically, you do that uh, so that way you can exert some control over that hand. Um, because right now, like when you have just the pure uh, lapel, the lapel can't fight fight that hand directly. So, but uh, you know, a shoulder and chin can do something. So, if you feel that hand doing something, you know, you can do something about it. If the choke attempt is happening. I know it doesn't look like it's <laughs> no. 
is a difficult choke to get from that direction. Uh, you know, typically the the choke doesn't occur in a straight vertical. You know, uh, the carotid arteries are to the side. So um, unless it was a sort of windpipe choke, but with a gi, difficult to do. So I think, although it looked threatening, it was, in my view, not that big of a deal. Nice drop stay away from uh, from Jefferson. Now we're into golden score. Anything's everything here. We've only seen the one penalty so far, so we're it's a pretty clean, even match, uh, generally speaking, between these two competitors. And uh, what you'd like to see is a bit more action in terms of uh, attacks from both sides. Now we're seeing a, a swinging action here from Soman and a Sumagash attempt by um, Jefferson, but, you know, not enough Kazushi going on here. And that, he's getting uh, penalized for the false attack. I'm a touch surprised by that because I didn't, that didn't seem any worse than any of the other attacks. So <laughs> he didn't get penalized for that. Uh, but, you know. Going score, there's a lot less uh, threshold for that. Uh, okay, so a left eye Toshi from Soman. Mate's called. I don't know how much. I don't know. I get a sinking feeling that like Soman might like take it by just Shido's. I haven't seen a lot of uh, effective throws that Soman has been throwing himself. Like they've been sort of. DOA. Oh, okay. As, as soon as I start talking about that, proven immediately wrong. <laughs> that was pretty good uh, by Solomon there. I would like to see a little bit more action from his right hand to get that, you know, 5% rotation going. That could turn into a Wazari, you know, and a Wazari is just as good as any pawn when it comes to W's, you know what I'm saying? So, especially in Golden Score. Right now, we're just circling the wagons. So, get the grips. All right, I'll run the back now. No. A nice drop by Solomon. All right. So does does Jefferson have the, what it takes to take him over? It's an awkward angle, and no, Mate is called beforehand. Jefferson's looking a little bit on the tired side. He's being asked to cl to clean up. I think this may be the end of the match. Yep. Oh, the inside grip penalty. And that's it. So, uh, not. Nothing really I'd like to take the take you back to particularly in this match. Uh, I mean, technical uh, penalties are always sort of the worst <laughs> in terms of like, you know, you can't dispute it, but like it's also like, bah! you'd like to see epons right, whenever you can. Anyways, uh, those are my thoughts. If you'd like to add your own, please let me uh, leave a comment. That'd be great. If you enjoyed this video, consider hitting the like and subscribing. And until next match, have a great night.